Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on Crigland Najjar syndrome. It is a rare genetic disorder characterized by inability to convert and clear bilirubin from the body, which is also called unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia, where the bilirubin cannot be conjugated, so they cannot be excreted from the body. This Crigland Najjar syndrome usually presents in the first few days of life in babies and they will present with jaundice, which is yellowish discoloration of the skin and mucous membranes, with or without central nervous system signs, such as encephalopathy. So the cause of Kragelin Najjar syndrome is due to a mutation in the UGT1A1 gene, causing absent or impaired ability to excrete bilirubin. So there are two types, which is type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is characterized by a nearly complete lack of enzyme activity and it is severe and even have life-threatening symptoms. Whereas Craigland Najjar syndrome type 2 is characterized by partial enzyme activity and have milder syndromes. Both of uh, both two types are inherited as autosomal recessive traits and they are caused by the error or mutations in the UGT1A1 gene. So this picture over here shows that if there is deficiency of the glucuronyl transferase enzyme, it will cause reduce in conjugation in the hepatocytes. So there will be accumulation of unconjugated bilirubin, causing unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia, which is the cause of jaundice. So the clinical features are yellowish skin and mucous membranes, and if it is severe, it might cause connectorus, also known as bilirubin encephalopathy, in babies, where some of the signs and symptoms are lethargy, vomiting, fever, poor feeding, and on physical examination, the limbs of the baby might be flaccid or hypotonia, and also there will be absent reflexes in the babies. For investigation, serum bilirubin will show a high level of unconjugated bilirubin. And we can also do molecular genetic testing to confirm the diagnosis where they will be able to detect the gene mutations. For treatment, it is different between type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is more severe, so the baby will need phototherapy and also they might need plasma pheresis to control their jaundice. And we have to look out for connectors. Some conditions will need liver transplant before the irreversible connectorus develops to prevent further complications in the babies. Type 2 is less severe and it is, more, it is less likely to cause bilirubin-induced neurologic dysfunction. So usually this type 2 can be managed with phenobarbital and do not need routine phototherapy. In a lot of cases, there are no treatment needed. So that's all for this video. Thank you.